Hello! This video will introduce you to your DSI 622 course. This course is being offered here at Winona State University in the summer of 2023. The name of this course is Modeling and Predictive Analytics in Healthcare. There are two different programs that use this course. So graduate students in the HLA program take this course and also graduate students in the Performance Analytics program take this course. So let's, this video will again, we'll talk about the syllabus, how, to, uh, how the course will be administered, and some of the basics before we get started with the course content. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the D2L site. So just log into your D2L here, and this course should pop up for you. There are two sections of DSI 622. There's a section one, which I believe is for the PAMS students. And there's a section two, which I believe is for the HLA students. Now there's not going to be any difference between these two sections. So it's the same course. The only reason we had the two sections is just um, because the administration needed to keep track of each of the students from each of those different programs. But as far as the course and how it's delivered, it'll be exactly the same. The due dates will be the exactly the same, the syllabus exa is exactly the same, etc. Now I will use D2L on a somewhat limited basis. We will use D2L for our announcements. We will also use D2L for the calendar. So that will help you keep track of when assignments are due. But the primary site that I use is statsclass.org. Okay, so if we go back, let me just go back one step here. If you go to statsclass.org, you will see here summer of 2023, there's DSI 622, that's our course. And you'll arrive here at this website. Now this is my statsclass.org website. And we will use this course, uh, this website primarily for this course. There's announcements at the top of this. Underneath the announcements will be course materials. So this is where you will get your notes. The videos, all the notes will have a video that accompany those. And then most of the notes or modules will have a homework assignment as well. And that'll be listed right here. There is a video archive. So as the semester progresses, this table, this archive here will grow. And then we also have information below about the course. So we'll go ahead and talk about this here in the introductory video. Now, one thing that, let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the course content under notes here. One thing that I'm going to have you do in your course notes is to participate actively in what you're learning. So we'll have these web pages with the course notes in them, and then there will be questions embedded within these course notes. So this first assign, uh, set of notes, those questions are here at the bottom. So as you complete your notes, you will be asked to provide feedback or provide answers, I guess, to these various questions that I ask. Okay, once you're done with your notes, you're going to submit them, and then you'll get my answers for each of those questions. So you'll get immediate feedback on what you're learning about. This works pretty well for me and how my teaching style. Okay, so that's what the notes will look like, and we'll just have lots of these notes. Every week we'll have another set of modules to go through, and you'll have an accompanying homework assignment for that module as well. Now, in order for you to, in order for me to know who you are when you're completing your notes, you will have to have a stats class account. So I'll give you information about how to create that account. Okay, so this is different than the universities, like your D2L account. This is completely different. You'll just need to create a little account at stats class. That way, when you submit your notes, I will know who has submitted that work. We'll also submit our homework assignments that way. 
Okay. So again, I'll give you more information about how to create that account now. So like I said, in addition to D2L, an account is going to be necessary at stats class. I will give you a video here. So this is a video showing you how to set up that account. Now, one thing about these initial videos is that they are the same for any summer course that I teach. So whether it's HLA 311, DSI 622, or Stats 110, setting up your online account is going to be the same no matter what course you're in. Okay, so there will be a video there that shows you how to do that. I already mentioned the set of interactive course notes. These course notes are divided into modules and parts. These interactive notes will require you to complete various tasks and or answer questions that are embedded with your, within these notes. After you submit your notes, the answers to the questions or tasks will be provided so that you can check your understanding of the content being covered. So again, if you provide the answers and they're not the same as what I obtained, I'd like you to go back and review the notes to try to understand where your misunderstandings are at. We will be using some technical computing. Okay, so we are going to be fitting different uh, machine learning models. Okay, so there are there is a technical computing component to this course. And we're going to be using Google Colab framework. We'll be mostly using R, maybe some Python, throughout this course. Students in this course typically have a wide variety of skills and abilities when it comes to the technical computing aspect. I know this, and I plan on providing substantial support to you so that you feel comfortable answering or doing the necessary computing aspects in this course. So to be honest, I assume that I will help you with the computing elements. Most of the time I will be writing the code for you. You'll be running that code and then trying to interpret the output. Most of the modules will include a homework assignment. The homework assignments will be distributed via Google Docs and must be completed and saved to your Google Drive. After completing the assignment, you need to log into your student account at Stats Class and then submit a shareable link of your assignment. A brief video discussing this is going to be provided here. So again, this video, it is the same if you're in Stats 110 or HLA 311 or DSI 622. So that video is a generic video that show you how to submit your homework assignment. One thing that is important when you're doing that is making sure that the link is shareable. You can use Word, so you can take my Google Docs, bring those down to Word, and put those on SharePoint. That is fine with me as well, but I need a shareable link of your assignment. This is how the grading is going to be done in this course. You're going to receive credit for completing each of the modules and parts of your course notes. So if you attempt to successfully complete the tasks and answer the questions posed in the notes, I will give you five points. Okay, so that's just a straight five points if you complete that. You will get zero points if you do not complete these tasks or do not answer the questions posed. Now, one thing about the course notes is there's not a deadline on those every week. The deadline is just the end of the semester. So if you get behind a little bit, that's okay. You can submit your course notes at any time throughout the semester. I would like you to stay current on those because the homework assignments are based off of the course notes. As I mentioned, most of your modules and parts will have an associated homework assignment. There's going to be two components to that, kind of a technical component 
that's going to be going out and doing the technical computing and copying and pasting some of that output into your homework assignment. The second component is actually the write-up or communication element of what you're learning. Okay, so that's going to be broken up into two pieces. And that'll be obvious when you're doing the homework assignments. Here's how I'm going to grade the technical components. Five points, again, if you sufficiently complete that part. Three points if you make a reasonable attempt to sufficiently complete that part. Okay, and zero points if you do not attempt or make a reasonable attempt to complete the technical component. Okay, so that's going to be graded as a five, three, or zero. There's only on the assignment, the technical component is worth five points, up to five points. The write-up component or the communication element is going to be worth more. It's actually twice as many points, so that's going to be 10 points. So I certainly emphasize the communication aspects of what you're learning more than the can you run the code and get the output. The communication or the write-up component will be graded in a more traditional fashion where I give credit or partial credit. Clear and concise communication is important here. Now, you cannot submit your homework assignments after the solutions have been posted. So when I post an assignment, there will be a due date for that assignment. As soon as that due date passes, the solutions are posted automatically. Okay, this is all done automatically. So I cannot accept late homework assignments. All right, so that's, you're on the hook for submitting those in a timely fashion. I don't have due dates on the course notes, okay? So those you can do whenever you want, but the assignments are different. Again, as soon as the deadline passes, the solutions are posted. So I cannot accept late homework assignments. It is important that you stay current with your homework assignments. My grading scale for this course is 85% and above is an A. 75 to 85 is a B, and then down from there. Most students receive either a B or an A in this course. This is a graduate level course, so I think that's often the case for graduate level courses. Students who complete this course will be able to do the following there. Those are our learning outcomes. And then lastly, I have a syllabus here. The syllabus just provides some additional details about some of the resources. There's not going to be a book required. Here are some of the resources. This one is about statistical learning, okay, which is, and this one is a little bit more business oriented. Course description is provided here. The prereqs that we currently have are either STAT 601 or STAT or HLA 301. Basically just a one course in statistics is sufficient for taking DSI 622. Again, here's the assessments. We talked about the course notes and the homework assignments. Talked about the grading. And then down at the bottom here, we have our topic outline for the course, which will just talk about the different types of machine learning things that you're going to be learning about. Uh, we'll be doing predictive analytics for numerical responses and also non-numerical responses. I don't know if we'll be able to cover all of these topics, but those are th that is the topic outline for the course, and maybe not necessarily in that order. Okay, that's all I have then for the introductory video. I'm glad that you're part of the course, or in the course, and I look forward to the next few weeks working with you to complete the requirements for DSI 622. Thank you and have a good night.